Hope Revolution now! My freaking glasses and my freaking hair. I look wild today. I look like I just had sex. Punk Revolution now. Today we're going to be reviewing Madonna's newest album, Madam X. This is a strange, weird pop album. This is, I have never heard a pop album like this one before. It's one of the weirdest pop albums I've ever heard. Maybe even one of the weirdest albums I've ever heard in general. So I gotta give Madonna a high five for that because that is quite an achievement already off to a good track. Uh, so yeah, what the, hell, what, what the hell is my opinion on this album? Let's take a look at the album cover. So you can see this album cover is kind of strange because pop music, think about pop. Pop is supposed to be sexy. Pop is supposed to be fun and luxurious and woo, dancing and sexy. But this album cover is kind of weird and kind of Madonna kind of looks ugly, which is not what pop music is supposed to be. And that kind of describes the album because Madonna here is saying, fuck you, I will do music however I want. I will do pop music however I want. I will be weirdo, I'll be artsy, I'll be strange, and I'll freaking put lyrics about politics in it. I'll just do whatever the fuck I want, and that personality that Madonna puts into this album is really, in my opinion, the best part of the album. Now, does being weird and artsy and strange and eccentric really make an album all that fantastic? I'm gonna be honest with you, I only listened to this album twice for the sake of the review. I literally just did not have it in me to listen to it for a third time because it's a 50 minute, fin 50 minute album that really halfway through makes me want to fucking die because the songwriting kind of sucks ass. It's lots of it's like really just like a fucking drag to listen to. It's just so slow and boring. And then there's freaking like uh, the production's like kind of mediocre. So like if I'm being entirely honest, I'm just going to give the rating off right now. I like to wait till the end, but I'm going to give it to you now. I'm giving it a 4.5. I want to give it a 1 out of 10 because it's pop and I hate pop. And the songwriting sucks and blah, blah, blah. But I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 10 because I see and I really do appreciate a lot of the personality and experimentation that uh, Madonna is kind of like... Uh, flirting with throughout the album so that's pretty cool but oh shit oh doctor doctor please take the review over it's just uh petty bourgeois kitsch so doctor has prescribed this album as uh petty bourgeois kitsch and i think i agree with that so yeah, I mean, I mean, what else is there to say? Uh, I mean, so this album is, like, influenced by her experience in Portugal, and there's some pretty cool, like, Latin pop in it, which is kind of cool, a little bit cr cringy, a little cheesy, but cool and fun and experimental and weird, and there's, a, there's just auto-tune throughout the whole thing. It's just a weird album. It's just weird. Every time, I'm listen every time I'm listening to a song, I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? This kind of sucks, but it's so weird. And the weirdness that keeps me kind of, kind of, it keeps me kind of interested is kind of what makes me not want to fucking, you know, like... I mean, I do want to stop listening to it when I'm listening to this album, but it, it made me want to review it, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I guess the one last takeaway from this album is, even though I didn't like this album very much, uh, I'm going to go back and listen to more of Madonna's discography, because I know her I know her singles and her hits and all that. I love all that shit. Even though I don't like pop, I like Madonna for whatever reason. Maybe Madonna's just this, an evil genius. But I want to listen to more Madonna, because this kind of showed to me that Madonna really does have a really creative, interesting, strange side to her creative brain. And hopefully I can find more of that through her discography, just ex executed better with better songwriting, with better production, and maybe it's a little bit more focused, not having a 50-minute album that kind of drags on, blah, 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 blah. So, what do you think? Do you think Madonna is smarter than me? Do you think this album actually kicks ass and I'm just too stupid to understand it? Is the experimentation so high up there that it's just blowing, my, blowing, blowing me away? Or is this album really suck ass and there's actually no experimentation in it and it's actually so bad that I'm mistaking being horrible for experimentation? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Punk Revolution! Yeah!